Hello everyone, welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. <sighs> so there's quite a few things to get to, and quite a few things that I've learned between the last episode and this one. I'm going to be cutting in between all of it, but to start with, I've learned about repairing items. So I need to repair my sword, because it's at 4 out of 80 durability, and I was going to repair it on the anvil, which because of my relatively low object knowledge skill would not repair it to its fullest. But, as it turns out, you can actually repair stuff fully by giving it to the blacksmith. Now it's very strange, there's a lot of systems in Arx Fatalis that are very poorly or not at all explained, and this is one of them. You know, I'm used to having a UI for shops. You talk to someone, it opens a UI, and then you have this whole system where you can click on stuff to make things happen and purchase things. But it turns out to repair stuff, you just use, you double click the sword and then use it on the blacksmith, like this. It's a really, really weird system. But anyway, yeah, that's how that works. So it's going to cost me 858, which is very expensive. I've got 4,343. But it is a damn good sword, and I'm going to be using it for a long time, so... Let's go ahead and do that. As good as new. Beautiful. 80 out of 80. I've also learned about enchanting objects, by the way. Before I had the... Yeah, enchant object scroll, or spell, or whatever. And I wasn't sure how to use it, but now I actually know. It turns out you actually go to use an item that can be used to enchant stuff. For example, Anakar's Rock can be used to enchant stuff. You double-click it, and then anything that can be enchanted lights up. You use it on the object, and then you use the enchant spell, and then you use the spell, once you have it queued up, and then you use it on the object that you've put the enchant thing on. It is a complete mess and totally unintuitive, but it works. <laughs> and by the way, what Anakar's Rock actually does is makes it so that items have unlimited durability. There's one problem with that when it comes to the sword, though. And that's that you can only enchant stuff once. Unfortunately, since this is a long sort of extra damage, it's already enchanted. Which means I can't give it unlimited durability. As you see, it doesn't even light up. So, that's unfortunate, but yeah, that's how that system works. Next thing to do is see if... Oh! I guess it's gonna work. The whole saving Shawnee thing? Yeah, there we go. She looks so angry. I am so happy you found Shaney. I don't know how to thank you, Traveler. We are far from rich, but maybe there's something here in my stall that you'd like in return. Please, take something with our blessing. Mmm, object- whoa, everything disappeared. I was just reading that up there. It's telling me what I got. Hey. You have a big nose. Is that really what you're saying to me after I saved your life? You were about to be sacrificed. Little shit. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna place the sacrificial implement that would have cut her open on her bed. So she'll remember it always and have nightmares about it. It'll teach her not to play around strange areas with strange people. Remember. Okay, so does that mean I can take anything for free, or? Uh, see, I'm pretty sure it gave me stuff. I think it gave me a couple potions, which I guess is my reward. Yeah, it's gotta be. I guess when she said take anything you want, what she actually meant is have your character take whatever he wants, which is of course not the most valuable items that you could possibly take from the store. So thank you, Amshigar. You're a jackass, and I hate you. Okay, here's another thing that I want to do too. I want to buy as many runes as possible, because it turns out how the spell system works, as far as what kind of spells you can actually use, is determined by, of course, your spell skill, since, you know, stuff in this the sevens here can only be used if I have a 70 skill or above, I think. There's that. But as far as what spells I even have in my book, uh, that is determined by simply the runes that I have. So if you buy if you buy more runes, more spells will just appear in your book. Like, you don't need to do anything special. You just buy as many runes as possible, and any valid spells for that will pop up. So I'm just going to buy everything I don't have. So I already have Vitai and Om, um, but I don't have Nai or Ra. And, god, these are expensive. I have... 3,400. It's worth it, though. I think. So, let's grab these two ones. There 
There we go, some new spells. Okay, so what have I gained here? Nausus flammable materials can even reduce some fire attacks. Hmm. That doesn't sound very useful at all. That sounds terrible. I don't know, maybe I'll find a use for it. Let's see, is it related to this one? Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's the same spell as the in, uh, Ignite, except the beginning instead of left to right is right to left, I think. Yeah. Yeah, right to left instead of left to right. Okay. So kind of the reverse. Right, same there. Same there. Mm, I can't remember if this was there. No, it wasn't. Dispels pro protection field. Protection field? Dispels protection field. Protection field? Is that those, like, pink things? That I saw in the lab of that guy and also just out in the environment that one time? Is that a protection field? Uh, what's my ability for spellcasting? Oh, it's 46, so I can actually use that. Okay. I'll have to give it a shot. Cure effects of poison. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like the kind of cure spells all behave in an area of effect that can influence your enemies as well as you. Alright, so this is all stuff that I can't use, but yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. Confuse. Invisibility. Incinerate. And the mass things. Okay, so as far as stuff I can actually use that's new, there's the douse and dispel field. Okay, and there's definitely more runes than that to find. There's a couple more down below from the salesman who... How do I even describe him? Remember the salesman down there where I stole a note out of one of their pillows? Yeah, I think there's some more runes down there. Shincash. In what way is the king beholden to the order of Adurnium? It's nothing to do with your quest, guardian. Suffice it to say that there is a debt that must be paid. Does the king have something which belongs to you? The treaty. The king must honor our treaty. That's all. That was strange. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. I was just coming here to make some potions. I just tried talking to her and, well, seems there's some dialogue that I hadn't, hadn't heard before. Okay, yeah, so I came here to make some potions. Also, let me see if my dispel spell actually works here. And you're staring at me, it's, making, it's kind of creepy, so I'm just going to close that door, thank you. Now she's whispering to herself, which is even creepier. Okay, uh, what is it? Okay, got it. Yeah! It worked! Okay, so there was one place somewhere deeper down that had one of those fields blocking the way, but I don't remember where it was. I'll find it. Maybe. Okay, time to make some potions. I'll be right back. Alright, well, I made a bunch of potions. Um, about eight poisonous potions, I think. And I was actually going to go sell them to the shopkeeper, but I totally forgot. So, I'll do that some other time. So right now what I'm working on is the treasure hunt quest. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. Alright, so for the next clue, go to the trolls' mines and find the note beneath the stones. I believe this is their mines, so I'm looking for a note beneath the stones. Hopefully I can find it. So I'm just going to go exploring and let's see what we find. Thing is though, I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere in here. So if it is in here, then it's certainly not going to be super obvious. Beneath the stones. What stones? Hopefully that'll become obvious. I'm looking for, like, a pile of rubble or something. Maybe I can move the pile? Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I should probably mention, I don't think I showed it. I actually sold a bunch of my stuff. All the, you know, gold nuggets and little silver and gold rings and whatnot and just all the junk, basically. Made a decent profit. I'm back up to 3600 Which I'm kind of saving to spend on runes. Yeah, I still need to go deeper down to find that guy that sold the runes. Beneath the stones. I mean, this is the troll mine, isn't it? I think I opened these already. Ooh, torches. Can I actually light this one up? <laughs> you can. Cool. Ooh, heavy stones. <gasps> Do you think this is it? Let's see. <gasps> Holy shit! <gasps> that is so cool! Look at that! It's so fucking cool. Alright. Where did it go? No, it's the first one. Here we go. Here's the second clue. Okay. For the next clue, try and see what cannot be seen in the chamber beneath the goblin prisons. Hmm. See what cannot be seen. I don't know what that means. But, you know what? Somebody was telling me that I missed something in the... Um, in the goblin's prison, the goblin outpost. Because apparently I got the key to that, but I never used it. Also, I know there are some locked doors there, and my skill in lockpicking is obviously much better than it was before. So, why don't we go take a look at the goblin prison? Question is, can I remember how the hell to get there? So, I need to go back to where I started from. Where did I start from? That's the town. Was it here? Uh, I don't actually know. I know there's a... Actually, wait, wait, wait. I think I might know where it is. Also, I should probably activate the portal here. Since I don't think I've activated it for level 3. Yeah, it's pretty close by. Let's go take a look. Yeah, where does... Is this the goblin prison or just like the goblin castle? I can't remember. But anyway. Big, oh. Q creepy atmospheric sounds. Anyway, yeah, the portal's down here. And the spell is a Mega Spasium. Wait, is it? Oh, it's above me, isn't it? Shit. No, that can't be it. Oh my god, how do I get up there? Seriously, how did you get up there? So wait, what if I tried? Which ways have I tried? It's gotta be the pathway over there. But 
But isn't that just over here? Isn't that where it just was? I'm so confused. Yeah, isn't that this? But no, that just goes... Oh, it's here. Let's see if a fireball would work. I cannot break it just like that. Are you kidding me? Alright, maybe this? Yay! I figured out how to break it! I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure a fucking fireball explosion would blow it down. Come on. Okay, Mega Spassium. Um, hmm? No. Hmm? There we go. Alright, so I've got level one. Well, multiple level ones. And now I'm on three. Yes, I've got one, three, four, and five. Don't have any for two. I think this is the prison. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the prison. How in the hell do I get there, though? There's all sorts of exits, I just need to find one of them. This one goes to level 3, so somewhere in level 3 is the access to level 2, which is there. Okay, let's go there. How do I get there? I go... Places. Navigation is kind of a nightmare. Yeah, easiest to, uh, easiest way to go might be to go up here, all the way around, I guess. Let's try it. See if you'll, see if you'll even let me in. Open the gate and let me pass. Okay, thank you. Does this place actually loop all the way around the prison? to go around the other way. I mean, it is revealed, so I know I've been there before, so it... Yeah, I must be able to go there. Okay, so... that way. Traveling around would annoy me annoy me a lot more if the footstep sounds weren't so beautiful. Wait, but this is just a dead end. Down there. What the f how how do I get there? Gee oh, alright, I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna come back when I can find it. Okay, I found it. It turns out this little stub up here that I thought for a second might be the entrance is actually the entrance. Even though it just looks like a, a line and an arrow and like a question mark kind of thing. That actually says level 2. And now I'm here. Yes, this is right past where these guys opened up the door when I gave them my papers about being a gem dealer. So, let's take a look around. Let's look for a goblin outpost that I can use my key on and also anything I get a lockpick. Actually, you know what, I might as well take their weapons sell them later. Okay, so where have I not been? Pretty sure I've been back here. You're gonna regret it. Ah. I don't think I... Oh god, you're fast. Will yeah. your horn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh damn, it's a saber. Yeah, I've also got this unidentified saber. Which, given that it's glowing, th I think means it's imbued with some sort of a power. Okay, six damage. Mm, this thing does eight. Fifty close combat. Oh, I can't even use it. I only have forty close combat. Well, in the future, it might be good as a backup. But if that one takes fifty to use, then I'm sure that this one probably will take fifty-two. I mean, fifty as well, not fifty-two. <laughs> Okay. I think this goes to a different floor. Yeah, that goes to a different floor. Okay. Um. I think that is a pathway there. This fireball spell is ridiculous. I think it just queued up magic missile. Can I like click it to get rid of it? Kinda. There's some equipment through here that I couldn't get to. Right. Let's see if I have the key for it. Alright, should be pretty easy to pick at this point. There you go. Ooh, hello. Wonder if I have these already. A rolling pin. Take the wine. Can use the bottles to make potions. Don't care about the food. Flour, flour, flour. Um, yeah, I'll take it just because I want to make some apple pies. Blacksmith's pliers. Hmm. Wonder if it would burn me to stand in this. Secret cache of coins. Alright, nice little stash. Actually, it wasn't a little at all. Tons of equipment. So, yeah, let me see if I have these runes. I think I do. Yep. And that one... Already got them, but I should be able to sell them for quite a bit. I mean, hell, they cost like 900 to buy. Could probably sell them for at least 300, maybe 400. We'll see. Okay, where to now? Uh, here. Yeah, maybe this is where I put the key. Is this the outpost? That's the end of Goblin Kingdom. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. There you go. So what is at the end of the Goblin Kingdom? Ooh, Spasium. Already have that too, but once again, another thing I can sell. And what the fuck is this? Looks like a pile of guts. I guess it's probably supposed to be rotting wood, or, I mean, rotting... Waste, I guess? Food? Old food? I'm actually running out of room. Yeah, I can't even pick this up, it's too tall. And unfortunately, you can't seem to rotate objects.
Ooh. Oh yeah, this is the place. I think. I think this is the place where there's that troll that wants a gift that I talked about before. That I encountered when I played off screen. Yeah, because I never found him. I, th I think this is it. I'm not going to use a fireball on that. Although... A fireball wouldn't use up the durability of my sword. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go activate this thing. <laughs> that sounded really painful. It's okay, Amjigar. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. That was terrible. There we go. Lots of pieces of troll art. It's very interesting, isn't it? This one looks like a pterodactyl doing yoga. Like a pterodactyl woman doing yoga. Strange. Tons of plant stuff to take here. Morning glory flowers. I think those are used for mana potions, right? Anything hidden in the water? Other than the extreme blinding flash bang level light? That water looks like oil or something. It's all black. Alright, let's go speak to this dude. Uh, me grew. Me here because left throw camp. Not want to work for goblins. Me not like goblins. Goblins are little. Can't trust goblins. Goblins think trolls stupid. So me live here, on own with fishes. Fish not give orders, and me eat them. Hmm. So if I understand correctly, the trolls work for the goblins. Pog, king of trolls, follow goblins' orders. Gru hate goblins. Gru prefer stay here, free, no orders, no working. Gru make music. Gru make statue. Gru, artist. Today, Gru's birthday. Uh, but Gru alone. Him not have friends. Him not have presents. Burwaka, only friend of Gru, up there. Him work for goblins. Gru sad. Well, maybe we could be friends. Really? You want to be Gru's friend? Oh, me have no friend! <laughs> well, friend, what you got for Gru's birthday then? A present. Let me see what I can do. And that I was never able to figure out before. I met a troll today, he wants me to be his friend, and he'd like a gift for his birthday. Yeah, so what does he want? I have no idea. I mean, he's an artist, so I'm assuming he wants some sort of an artistly thing. I don't have anything on me, do I? How does that please you? Oh, that not good present. Grew still sad. <laughs> Burwaka, better friend than Shagar. Okay, he didn't he did mention that Burwaka is up there working for the goblins. Maybe if I speak to him, he'll be able to tell me what sort of a thing that Grew likes. I don't think I have anything more of a damn. To him, anyway. Mm, what about a regeneration ring? How does that please you? Oh, that not good present. Grew still sad. Burwaka, better friend than Shagar. 
Yeah, nothing I have makes any sense to me to give to him. Maybe I'll talk to Berwaka. We'll see. Okay, I don't think there's much else here, but let's look around regardless. And this isn't related to the treasure hunt, is it? What can see what cannot be seen in the chamber beneath the goblin prisons. Is this beneath? I still have no idea what see see what cannot be seen means. What can you not see? And how could I possibly see it? Jesus, those sudden sound changes are scary. Okay. Well, I wouldn't really call that the chamber underneath. I mean, that's still on level two. This up here goes to level three. But haven't I already been here? And I still haven't used my key. Wait, isn't this where I came from? Yeah, I fought a big guy here and the other guy was here. Oh wait, is this it? Too complicated for me. Oh, you can do it, Amjagar. Come on. It's too complicated for me. It's too complicated for me. It's too complicated for me. <laughs> Just how complicated is this lock? It's too complicated for me. It's too complicated for me. Well, shit. even in there. I see a chest, I see a rolling pin on the left. Hmm. Okay, could it be down here? I see a couple unexplored areas. Yeah, it's going all the way back to where I came from. Back to my roots. <gasps> I mean, this could be the chamber beneath the prison. See what cannot be seen in the chamber. This could be the chamber. Well, I suppose I should find the prisons first. I mean, I found the goblin area, but those aren't really the prisons, are they? I don't know. little fish up there. <gasps> okay, where else have I not been? Uh, here. Also up here on the right. Or left? Left. Ooh, ooh, this goes deeper down. Magic missile. Can sell that. I've already got the spell to do it. I don't need the scroll. Cool, cool. 
Good morning. Could this be the chamber? I doubt it. It seems too small to be the chamber beneath the prisons. Ew. I mean, I fell down a hole in the prisons. Like, this is one of the first things I did. Could that be the chamber down there? So maybe I need to go all the way back there. I don't even, I don't even remember where that was. Hi. Hey! You're a oh. human! <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is such a powerful skill. Okay, I need to dump some crap. Screw the clubs. One unexplored area. Right here. Those things are creepy as hell. It's above me somewhere. What the hell? Why did I drop it? I can't fit it. I can't believe I can't turn this stuff sideways. Why did it make a water noise when it hit the ground? Many mysteries. Now I'm finding all stones suspicious. This seems like a thing. What is this? Is this a thing? Hmm. Weird. Let's go around. Looks like it connects uh, connects up here. Yeah. Really? Okay, well, that's not it. Um, yeah, I don't really remember where I fell down. Wait, isn't this where I fell down? Yeah, that's exactly where I fell down. So is this the chamber? And where's the goblin outpost? That I use my key to, because I still haven't used my key on anything. See what cannot be seen. The fuck does that mean? Try and see what cannot be seen in the chamber beneath the goblin prisons. I have no clue what that means. What cannot be seen? Air. Like, air? There's a wall I could break somewhere around here, too. See what cannot be seen. These are things. I thought they seemed suspicious. Okay. do do they both need to be lifted up 
Oh. Hello. So is it the other one has to be pressed? Okay. I don't think this is related to the treasure hunt. Well, this is cool nonetheless. Ah, oh, sweet, some more tools. I can use that to go try to open that door again. A key. To what? This is a little metal key. Alright, put down my thingy. Move the stack of... <laughs> okay, I think I don't want to move stacks of bread. They're really expecting me to find the secret chamber but not know how to move bread by that time? I guess if you've really found it early. I suppose it's possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is related to the treasure hunt. Maybe that key will open the reservation. The thing that I couldn't lockpick before. See what cannot be seen. little key must have been it. Excellent. A bag of triple X flour, apparently. Yeah, these things are definitely fairly low reward, so I think you are meant to find this stuff early on. Not related to the treasure hunt either. See what cannot be seen. I better be in the right area, because if I'm looking for something... ...in the wrong area for this treasure hunt, I am going to go crazy. Alright, I'm going to keep looking around, and I'll come back if I find something, otherwise I'll be doing something else. Okay, well, I did some looking online after searching around for a while. I wasn't looking for the location of the next clue, since I didn't really want to spoil that, although I think I accidentally kind of did. Um, anyway, apparently for the next clue, you need a reveal spell. A spell that allows you to see things that cannot be seen. Which I don't actually have, so it doesn't even matter. And I think it's behind one of those walls that you need to break. And I couldn't even find the wall. So yeah, I can't find the wall and I, and I don't even have the spell anyway, so... I'm just gonna ignore it until I can find the spell. Also, apparently, I, I think this actually is the Goblin Outpost, which makes me wonder what the fuck this key is for. I... I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna leave now. Whoops, wrong way. So, let's go ahead and move on to the main quest, which is right up here. It's time to find the Temple of Akba. Hello. Starting to get a little bit better at navigating. It's really strange how I keep hearing them, but they're not actually here. It's like they're stuck in the walls or something. It's a bizarre.
Alright, so we need to go pay a visit to the bar. Or tavern, rather. And now I know exactly what to say to the door, dude. Instead of stupidly saying, open up, it's me. Hey, buddy, how's it going? There's one more drink that Akbar not have. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go now. Password. Fat ka pel. Beautiful. Oh my. I want your armor. Can't even talk to him. How <laughs> does he even see out of that? Look at that. That'd be so annoying. Looks like he's been crying or something. Hmm. Things sound a hell of a lot creepier here. The design of this place. Alright, we're on floor two. It's... strange. I wonder if I'm gonna find enemies down here or if they... are friendly. Because I hear people. Okay. Well, that answers that. Hmm, what is that? Oh, I thought it was a button or something. Apparently it's not. Weird. Whoa, Aqua's Rock. The hell can I do with that? Hmm. Wonder if it's just a uh, valuable? Whoa, this looks so cool. Look at that. All these support beams, the fact that they're not perfectly square, or perfectly rectangular, are all kind of bent. It's like a sort of haunted house. Whoa, Jesus, you scared me. Fucking hell, dude. I'll leave the daggers. What have they been doing here? Well, I guess they've been sacrificing people, haven't they? Take every single bottle I can. Use them for potions. Another one. Can't even fit it. Okay, I need to dump some stuff. What is least valuable? Uh, probably these weapons and shield. Yeah, the leather chest is probably not worth much either. Ooh, let's get rid of this club. Oh, hi. Just cast. Oh, that's ignite, isn't it? Yeah. Ew. Are those body parts all wrapped up? They could be an entire person if they were kids. Uh. 
Brother Pascal, remember this. The first locks the second. Lord of Serbius. Lord of Serbius. That is a person mentioned here. Yeah, the one making the deal with the goblins. Supplies with humans and we'll give you a bunch of gold. This place is massive. This place is fucking disgusting. No, I'm most certainly not. This place is really disgusting. Yes. My name is Brother Shagar. Are you blind? Yes. It was my personal sacrifice to our great and beloved Akbar. Soon, may he reign supreme. Yes, soon. Akba is our savior. May he be blessed. Through his good work, we shall once again live on the outside. Our children will at last see the sunshine, and we shall play in the newly grown grass. It shames the nation that most of them don't believe in Akbar. I understand that people find the human sacrifices a bit scary, but it is the only way to salvation. Pray with me, Brother Shigar. You know Akbar needs our faith. May I come closer to the meteor? I wish to pray even closer to Akbar. I have so much to say to him. Oh, didn't you know? Master Eserbius has activated the security system. Only he and the High Priests can get into the Meteor Room now. Apparently, a Guardian has been sent by the Norden to destroy our beloved statue. <laughs> what terrible news. Akba, protect us. Amjigar, you are a terrible liar. I think the only, only reason he got away with it is because this person is apparently very stupid. <laughs> person suspiciously asks if he can get near the meteor. And he says, yeah, the Noden have sent someone to destroy it. And for some reason isn't suspicious about me. The bumbling fool. Hmm. Alright, well it sounds like the way in is probably related to this. The first locks the second. A bottle of blood. Oh. I don't think I want that. I'm, I'm just gonna leave that there. I might mistake it for wine and drink it. Alright, well, I am gonna end this episode here. Let's see, we're on save 10. So, made some pretty good progress. Progressed a little bit in the treasure hunt. Not a huge amount, still waiting for the reveal spell to continue on. And did a bunch of kind of housekeeping stuff. Opened a lot of portals. Found some secret stuff in old areas that I've been to. Sold a bunch of stuff, repaired my stuff. Yeah, some pretty good progress. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.